Do you have a water by any chance? Questions for Andrew? Yeah, Andrew, can you take us through the uh, that last sequence? Obviously, the play was ran to you. Yeah, no, I think uh, coaches did a great job. We have a lot of different plays at the end, depending on how much time is left. Um, and so that was just something that um, we've, we've worked through and, and wanted to run when 1.3 seconds. We know that's like a catch and turn and shoot pretty much. I uh, don't have much time for, for much else. So. Um, Great play design, and, and Cam did a good job of getting me the ball, be able to turn around and, and make the shot. So. When's the last time you had a buzzer beater? Uh, I don't know if I've really ever had one since like high school, like at the buzzer game winner. Um, so I'd probably say it's like my first legit game winner. Off practice, I know you guys work on end of game situations a lot. Do you hit them in practice like that? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it, there's no buzzer really in practice, but <laughs> definitely got to make it as real as possible. And, and um, yeah, I hit those in practice too. What do you think it meant for this team, given where you guys have been the last two games? Uh, you guys were down at halftime this game and blitz them in the second half yeah. and get up and then they come back. I yeah. mean, what does this do for you guys? Um, I think it's, I think it's great for the team and um, our ability to know that uh, we're, we're a resilient group and, um, you know, we just got to believe. And, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, and, and we've had some, some trouble closing out games. And um, so, you know, that's something that we got to continue to work on here in these next couple of days as we have, a, a, you know, keep going with this tough schedule. So um, I think, I think uh, it showed a lot. I was really proud of everybody and, and showing our resilience and being able to kind of um, bounce back, be able to find a way to win because um, it's never easy at this level. So, I don't know where they have TVs on in the back, but did you get a chance to check in on Ty? And if so, what was his reaction? Um, yeah, yeah, you know, he wasn't sure if we won or not. So um, getting back there was uh, was great to see him, and you know, spread on the good news that um, we did actually we did actually win. Um, but yeah, no, uh, definitely um, great to spend, <laughs> great to to bring that to him. So, Andrew. Uh, after, after you launched for the shot and went back, it seems like you kind of slid across the floor and then your teammates just all mobbed you. <laughs> yeah. Walk me through what, what that feels like and what's going through your mind as you're being attacked by your, by your teammates. Um, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's an awesome feeling. It, it, um, it's great. It felt like, like forever that I was on the ground. <laughs> they were just, <laughs> everybody was just on a huge dog pile for a really long time. It felt like, um, but no, it, it's, it's awesome to see. Um, everybody's so excited and, and happy for this team to be able to kind of find a way to win and um, be able to move on and, and be able to have some good days of practice and get ready for Saturday. Of course, that last second shot doesn't take place if you guys don't force a deflection, the ball go out of bounds, and you get that last, that last opportunity. What were you all seeing defensively to kind of make that happen? I know four of their players all went to like one side of the court. It was kind of a wonky set. What did you all see? Um... I personally didn't see anything. I was just on the ball trying to <laughs> be as crazy as possible. So I didn't even know that happened, that they all went to the same side. But um, regardless, I think, uh, you know, at that situation, we, we had a foul to give as well. So um, you had to foul twice in two point whatever seconds it was. So you, we knew that was going to be tough. We knew it had to be on the inbounds. You had a crazy deny and um, hopefully the turnover, like what happened, or five seconds. and. Um, you know, credit to everybody else behind me who was able to, to um, keep denying and were able to get that turnover and be able to make it, make everything happen. So, Andrew, in the big scheme of the game, it, it, you, you were hard to guard. I mean, inside, outside, was that kind of what you were seeing as, as you guys were flowing uh, offensively? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think I uh, uh, had a good week of practice and, and was able to kind of get into a better flow this game, um, coming off some, some other tough games. Um, so... Uh, my teammates did a great job of get within the flow, kind of being able to get me in positions that um, they know I'll be successful. So um, hoping to continue to keep doing that and, and uh, keep this rolling. Yeah, Andrew, on that point, I mean, you had 12 points combined in the last three games and then 20 tonight. It was What was working tonight that wasn't working the last three? Yeah, you know, I think uh, 
just getting off to a better start, um, being especially the, the the first half, just being able to to kind of let the game come to me and be aggressive within within our offense. You know, we have um, set fundamental things that we're kind of are in our motion that we like to, to do. And um, depending on the night, you know, some people we have more looks than others. And, and tonight it was me, and, and I was able to knock those down. So I don't know if you know this, but you guys have played 11 games, and five of them have been decided by one possession. You guys None are four and one mm -hmm. in those five games, whether it be practice or now just being in so many tight games. What do you attribute how good you guys performed in those spots, how well you performed uh, in late game situations? I think it's a, a combination of a lot of things. Um, I think obviously uh, the coaching staff does a great job of preparing us for those situations. And um, whether, no matter what the situation is, it seems like we always have a, a play or something ready to go. Um, but then also just the ability to kind of like, when the pressure's at, at its highest point and um, kind of just be able to take a deep breath within the players and, and just like, know that we'll be able to get out there and execute and, and um, do what we need to do to, to kind of win the, those type of games. And how would you describe Coach Forbes' demeanor in some of those huddles? Is he just matter of fact? Is he encouraging? What, what's he like? Yeah, I think it's both of those for sure. He, uh, um, you know, he, he knows what we, we want to do depending on the situation. He obviously decides what we want to do and, um, and he gives us all encouraging words and we're able to kind of um, – you know, he, it starts with, with the coaches about um, that belief. And so, um, you know, it came from them as we were sitting in that huddle with two point some seconds left. It's like, we got to believe that we're going to win here and, and force this turnover. And it kind of starts with them. And then it trickles down to us. And, and we're able to um, kind of carry that over to the end of the games. Anything else? Yes. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks.